Good evening. Good evening. That was an experience. My name is Robin Dillard. I'm publisher of BEQ Pride Magazine. They're around for you to, to peruse and we can talk about that later. Um, but right now it's my job to talk to this brilliant man about what we just experienced. But before we get there, not everybody really knows you. So what do your friends say about you? If your friends were to describe who you are, what would they say? I like vodka. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good answer. <to that. laughs> um, since they're here, a lot of them are here. I think they would say that I am a loyal friend, um, that I'm a lot of fun, um, and that I'm committed to do help leaving this place a better place. And I'm always happy. Most of the time happy. <laughs> until you, you know, until these things happen. You know, and I'm still happy through those. But I think that's. One of my best friends is here. Is that accurate? Would you have anything? I'm going to say good time. Good time. If you're going to be a good time, be a good time. That's right. <laughs> and, and good thing you said that, because that's really what we all need to talk about. Um, people don't buy what so much, they buy why. So why did you create this film? So as I alluded to in the beginning, and first of all, thank you all for being so super quiet. You know, the film is, is equalized for a theater and all that, and I really appreciate you all being quiet so you could, you could hear it. And, um, but um, I created this film because, as I was saying, I was on tour uh, with 90 Days, which is a film about HIV and AIDS in the heterosexual black community, but it was a film that talked to the entire black community. And I saw what that film was able to do um, in terms of impacting people and getting people to talk about um, an issue that we don't talk about enough in our community. Um, and as you know, HIV and AIDS disproportionately affects black, black people in general, and no one was talking to black women. And so I saw what that film was able to do. I had no intention of doing another short film um, until I was sitting in that hotel room. And if you remember in April 2018, that was after all of these events were happening. The woman was calling the police on people Becky. barbecuing, you know, Becky, Becky, was called. Becky yeah. And, and then, you know, the, the more grave ones, you know, with the man getting shot in his own house by the police officer and all of that stuff. And so I don't like being angry is not an emotion that I like. Um, and I'm a doer. And so the best thing I know how to do is, is write and create. And so I wanted to create, um, and what I also know is that we presume that other people know what we go through in life, and that's anybody. You know, we presume, whatever our, our identity is, we presume that I, you know what I'm going through. Um, and a lot of times we, people just don't. They really don't, and I, they don't know what it's like to walk through uh, this society as a black man and that you are encountered with all the micro and macro aggressions that we face from the moment that we get up to the moment that we get home. And sometimes your home is only the safest place that you are, and if that's safe. Um, so I wanted to document um, a day in the life of an upwardly mobile, you know, super successful family man um, and with all his success and his money and his degrees, he's still a black man. Still a black man in, in America. In America. <laughs> JC says it a different way. Um, but it's the truth. Um, and so I wanted to tell the truth. And so I, I made this film to have this conversation around bias, um, which is you know, the elevated word of it, but really it's discrimination and, and racial bias in our country and what we experience on a daily basis.